Hello everyone, this is Suki, and I'm back for a quick update to my Astrologian overview. Earlier this morning, patch 3.07 went live with some buffs to a few of the jobs. Dark Knight, Monks, and Machinist all got some small changes, but the majority of the changes were definitely for the Astrologian. And my, were they some decent changes. So let's quickly dive into them, and I'll give my overall opinion on where Astrologian stands against the other two healers at the end. First off, Benefic, Benefic 2, and Helios all had their potencies increased. Benefic went from 380 to 400 potency, Benefic 2 went from 620 to 650, and Helios went from 290 to 300. So now, they are basically equivalent to the White Mage's Cure, Cure 2, and Medica, which is a very welcome change. The whole reason why Astrologian had lower potencies in the first place was because of the potential of, of their cards. And with these being locked behind RNG, it's really nice to see them give Astrologian some consistency with their heals and put them on more equal footing with the other healers. One thing that I did find interesting was that even though the potencies were increased, their MP costs are still the same. And they were slightly lower than a white mage's because of the lower potencies before, but now they are the same potency of a white mage's but they still have a slightly lower MP cost. So this is a slight edge I guess for MP conservation and I'm not sure if this will be permanent or not, uh, but uh, I guess it's a nice little boost that Astrologians get, I guess, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see if this stays the same or if they decide to uh, change this in the future. Next, uh, Aspect of Benefic had the Regen potency increased from 100 to 140, while in the Diurnal Sect. Uh, this is a pretty big increase because over the full 18 seconds, that is an extra 240 potency on the overall heal, which is quite a bit. And uh, while in Nocturnal Sect, the barrier has been increased to 130% of the heal instead of 100%. This is a welcome change to both forms, although I would still say that Diurnal Sect is still the better of the two. Uh, Aspect of Helios had its potency changed from 140 to 150 while in Nocturnal Sect, making the heal while in Nocturnal Sect equivalent to a Scholar's Sucker. And while in Diurnal Sect, the base potency is now 200 instead of 140 but the regen effect has been decreased from 50 to 40 potency. This is actually an overall 40 potency loss while in Diurnal Sect, as you gain 60 potency from the base heal, but lose 100 potency on the full duration of the healing over time effect. Uh, in comparison to Medica 2, it has the same base heal, but has a smaller radius and 10% less or 10 less potency on the healing over time effect. But considering all of the other buffs Astrologian got, this small nerf can go unnoticed. Sinistry had a pretty pretty big change and is now honestly probably one of the best healing cooldowns in the game. Uh, the tooltip is not completely accurate uh, right now. Uh, basically this will now increase your healing potency by 20% and allows you to choose a target to use with Sinistry and give them the Sinistry buff. And any targeted heal you give the person with Sinistry or any targeted heal you do will give the person with Sinistry 40% of that heal. This lasts for 20 seconds and the cooldown has been reduced from 2 minutes to 90 seconds. Uh, to be clear, AoE heals and regen techs do not count towards this extra healing effect to the person with Sinistry. But, you can now also heal the target with Sinistry and give them 140, 140% of a heal with the 20% healing potency buff. And that is a massive amount of healing. And this is really an amazing change to Sinistry, and it makes catching up in healing or in healing large amounts of damage a complete joke with Sinistry. So, uh, love that change. Uh, but that is not all the changes we got. We still have quite a few more. Uh, Celestial Opposition had its cooldown reduced from 150 seconds to 2 minutes. Uh, a nice change, but nothing really groundbreaking. Uh, Disable had its effect changed to now reduce the potency of all attacks within a 6 second window instead of just the next attack. Uh, this is pretty nice uh, as the timing of Disable could be tricky. Sometimes you could only get uh, the boss's auto attacks or just use it too early in general. And this now leaves for a little bit more breathing room for using this effectively. Uh, Collective Unconscious had a pretty decent change as well. Now those inside of the bubble of Collective Unconsciousness it's uh, actually a collective unconscious, sorry, crates uh, will create uh, both the regen effect and the 10% reduced damage 
uh, regardless of what sector you're in. Also, once you drop the bubble, any party members that receive the regen effect will keep it for the rest of its duration. Uh, to balance that out, the regen effect was reduced to 150 potency from 200 and its duration was taken down from 18 seconds to 15 seconds. But overall, this is a great change and it makes using this ability a lot more viable in a variety of more situations. And finally, the balance, the bull, and the arrow all had their durations increased from 15 seconds to 30 seconds, meaning that an extended royal road can now give a party member a 60 second balance, bull, or arrow. And with the use of time dilation and celestial opposition, you can reach a maximum of 80 seconds on just one of those card effects. That is a pretty insane buff. Granted, it is still RNG gated, and you'll need to be pretty lucky to draw one of those, but the support potential of Ash Wilden has been greatly increased along with their healing abilities. So now, with all these buffs, where do I think Ash Wilden stands among the other two healers? Well, on its own, Ash Wilden definitely saw some good changes that made their healing capabilities a lot more consistent. But they will never be as good at healing as a white mage or a scholar. As for their support capabilities, they have really high potential, but at the end of the day, it is still locked behind RNG. A good Astrologian, however, will still be able to heal a party and use whatever cards they can draw to add supporting effects to everyone, and that is their role. They are a wild card, and while they can do some consistent healing now, they will still never be as reliable as a white mage or a scholar at raw healing power. Of course, it is then arguable that you don't need all of that healing power in most content anyway, and I agree, but it's still something co to consider when bringing an Astrologian into your party. As for their DPS output, I'm pretty sure they do little less than the other two healers, but again, with their deck, they can effectively add DPS to the raid with their various card effects. In the end, my opinion is that Astrologian is a support healing class that is best paired with one of the other two healers. They have a consistent healing toolkit with some decent healing cooldowns. They have amazing support and utility potential, but it is still locked behind RNG. With these changes, I think you can now be proud to play Astrologian because I think it fills its healing role well enough that the randomness of the card draws should not be enough to hinder a good Astrologian. Even if you get bad draws throughout the entirety of a fight, you should still be able to clear all content currently in the game Provided that you have the skill and mastery to do so. And that is my update to my Astrologian overview. I expect to see a lot of Astrologians in the queues over the next few days because I know I've seen one in every single mine this morning. I'll try to work on a full Astrologian guide soon as my White Mage guide is currently in progress and should hopefully be finished sometime this week, assuming I don't have other things that keep me busy. I'd also like to say thank you for reaching 300 subscribers a few days ago Yes, that is not a whole lot when you compare it to others, but I value it a lot and I appreciate the support. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you go and enjoy patch 3.07. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.